In this video, we're going to show you how to install underlayment for vinyl plank flooring. Before laying the underlayment, we made sure the concrete was clear of dirt and debris. We also measured the length and width of the room with the closet to calculate our square footage. Because we have a concrete subfloor, we chose SmartCore Premium LVT Underlayment. This product was recommended for our vinyl flooring. We realized we had to pick up some underlayment tape as well. Our little helper couldn't wait to help with this project. It was super easy to unfold. We started in the corner and laid it flat on the subfloor. The grid pattern really came in handy when it came time to make our cuts. Look at how simple it is to lay down the second row of underlayment. Hey guys, you can also connect with us on Instagram where you'll see behind the scenes pics of our projects. Look, you see how this mesh came back? When you have a sharp utility knife, it feels like your hand just glides over the lines to cut the insulated foam. We were able to quickly remove the cut pieces and line up the row. With two rows on the floor now, it was time for tape. We placed the underlayment tape on the seams of both pieces. By gently pressing it down, the vapor tape created a moisture barrier. It's easy to go from one end of the room to the other. Are you ready to install vinyl planks? Click the link in the description to see more beginner-friendly flooring videos. We could tell that one roll of tape was more than enough for this size room. Custom shapes for the closet were simple to do. Even though the closet doesn't get a lot of foot traffic, we installed the underlayment to help the planks remain even so they won't crack over time. Placing underlayment in the closet also extended the moisture barrier. Let us know in the comments, would you use this underlayment under your vinyl plank flooring? This underlayment is 1.5 millimeters thick and provides sound suppression by lowering the echoes in the room even while you're laying it down. It also has thermal properties that will help keep the flooring warm during colder months. It's just as easy to lay this underlayment even in a much smaller space like a closet. In case you're wondering, just like a floating floor, there's no need to glue or nail it down. It stays in place. When you're cutting edges, you don't have to worry about the lines being perfect. What matters is that the subfloor is completely covered. For us, this made the project stress-free. The rows should not overlap. They both should completely touch the floor. Here's a tip. Turn the underlayment so the factory edges meet and the cut edge is against the wall. This makes it easier to tape the seams in a straight line. This DIY was super easy and I'm glad my helper had fun too.
Now you know how to install underlayment to prepare for vinyl plank flooring. Remember, you can DIY too, and we'll see you in the next video. DIY Power Couple YouTube channel is your source to help you unleash your inner DIY power.